Okay, so I've shown you in the previous video how to remove the duplicate titles using uh, Tableau Prep. Now, um, that's a bit unfortunate that Tableau Prep has no uh, remove duplicates or distinct functionality, but uh, something that does is our scripts. So we've started again from that hyper extract we produced uh, previously, and we're now going to utilize the R scripts to, to do this process a bit more easily. So the first thing we do is we add another step, which is a script, and I'm going to walk you through the different errors we get and how to work around them. So add a script, fantastic. So that little error thing pops up there and we hover over it and it tells us what's the problem. The problem is there's no script specified, so we're going to have to make a script. So we boot it up, boot up our studio, and then we control shift N to make a new script and then we save that, save it anywhere, save it as, I'm just calling it our script. So we go back to prep and we identify that the file we want to use is called our script. What's the problem? So function name not specified. So we need to make a function. So R has to do a function. Now there's quite a bit of a, you know, if you know R, why are you using Tableau prep? Well, this is just a, it's a stopgap measure that we, that we have to resort to this, you know, so and there's quite a few complications regarding how to use it. But anyway, our function is tidy data and uh, use the brackets afterwards, but I don't think I was supposed to. Anyway, we want to connect to our server and this is the menu for doing it, but we actually need to activate our serve on R. So we, and we specify the port just to make it easy to remember, one, two, three, four. And there we go, so R is now serving uh, Tableau prep and we call localhost as the server and port once again and sign in so it should be happy with that aha uh -huh. another error is that it says R doesn't support column names with spaces in them and this is actually a, an, a Python shortcoming not an R shortcoming because R can support uh, column names so we just have to manually go through and uh, remove all the gaps which is uh, quite frustrating that we have to do that. Hopefully in the next release they will fix it, at least for R. Um, yep, so there we are. We've gone ahead and removed all the gaps. And now it doesn't seem to be working and the problem is, is that the I've got the brackets after the tidy data function. So I go back and I check the script, but the script looks fine. It's simply returning itself. And then I go, aha, I realize the problem. I get rid of those brackets and then I go, yep, so I can see it's working. So it's, we can't actually prove that it's working now because it's just returning it's whatever it is. So I'm going to use these two libraries. Uh, one is Deplier or Deplier. Another one is Magritta. These are very common uh, Tidyverse uh, packages. And I'm just doing this, those separate files libraries because I don't want to load the whole tidyverse because we don't need ggplot for example which might take a little while to load but here I'm just doing a simple test to make sure that uh, Tableau Prep is connecting to um, uh, R so I'm replacing all the values in the category column with the, the text yes and it's it's worked okay and so when you do any operations you can't actually change the the type or oh, you yeah you can so there is more to this in how to do more complicated operations but generally it's um it only wants to, to return back the same columns that it gets given so in this case here i'm just restricting it down to the the columns that we're interested in uh, which are like before are the you know the date the isbn the title and um, if you do want to change the structure uh, there's a bit of sort of you've got to provide an additional function which uh, tells uh, Tableau Prep what to expect and I might cover that in another video but here what we're doing is we're simply arranging the data by week so um, we can see it's starting now at the earliest date which is the 3rd of January the 10th of January so that is certainly working the way and now we want to arrange it descending so we want the latest date so we just add that descending and the next step is to distinct so we only want to keep the latest instance of the title by unique ISBN 
So that's that's what that function there does. And notice here we're going from a thousand rows to much less rows, 231. So there we've we've produced the uh, the latest title name for each ISBN. And then we just go ahead and, and connect it just like before. But um, as you can see, this is a lot easier. Um, however, you know, it requires, you know, a, a fair bit of understanding of, uh, of R in order to be able to do this. Nevertheless, connecting by ISBN and we should get the same result. So the inner join here is fine because every instance of the ISBNs are, are present. And if we drag across, we can see that uh, certain titles, like the title we're interested in, has been given a unique title here. So we no longer need that uh, duplicate column. And so, yeah, that's how we utilize R to remove duplicates. And um, hopefully you've yeah, it's just seen the possibility of using R in Tableau Prep and how it can fill the gaps currently in Tableau Prep's functionality. I'm sure in future releases, these gaps will be be filled. Okay, um, yeah, that is it. It runs fine. And now we're ready to um, do some visualization.